I'm Olivia. My journey into farming started when I was born. We've been a, I've been a farmer my whole life. My dad's a both sheep and arable farmer. We're on our own unit here. And we have the land attached to the farm. The sheep side of it is run between me and my dad and the arable side is run between my dad and my brother. We have a mixed crop, so we crop rotate quite a lot. And the sheep side is, uh, we have about 170 ewes and we only lamb once a year. Uh, my name's John Hesketh, I'm Olivia's dad. I'm in charge of the arable crops, the choices. We grow primarily spring barley, occasionally winter barley, winter wheat, weather dependent at the back end, maize, and also as a rotation, potatoes. Only cereals we're putting in this time in spring is barley. We don't have the window to uh, grow the wheat and let it ripen, it, it just won't make it. Not around here and with everybody else being in the same boat barley seed has been expensive and, and hard to come by. A typical day on a weekend is getting up, going around all the sheep, making sure everyone's okay, uh, dad's on crop check and things like that. I then um, fill water up and make fit sheep food so we're on um, a zero input at the moment so we when we combine our barley we sell most of it off um, and then buy back what we need crushed so we're buying back our own produce just so we don't have to store it here so we're currently feeding our own crushed barley back to the sheep mixed with molasses at the moment so well we've got about 50 acres away at the moment and um, where the sheep and lambs are so we're just feeding those once a day and in winter it's basically just keeping sheep fed we've obviously just come out of winter now it was just keeping sheep fed making sure they're on dry ground uh, water things like that keeping them as dry as possible when you look back on the year from like last year you tend to try and see if everything's going to be the same obviously lambing was more well, in May now we try and lamb the first of April we didn't lamb, well we lambed about fortnight into April, but everything's took a lot longer to lamb. Grass has took a lot longer to come. Everything's been a lot wetter. We've been uh, turning ground over a lot later. We've been sowing a lot later. Um, and we've been finding that the season's like a lot shorter. Like well, we're clipping in about a fortnight now, which marries up with when we were clipping, but you know, worming, fly protection, things like that are starting to go further and further into the year. So this year has been very challenging for us, not just us particularly, but I think as the farming community as a whole but it's uh, it's forever changing and I do wonder how it is going to be in the next couple of years coming because it has been quite repetitive I don't know previous four or five years but this year it, it seems to be a lot wetter for longer drier spells are harder to come by lambs growing we are we are seeing lamb lamb growth is a bit difficult this year but it is starting to come through a little bit more but obviously we're a zero input you see so we're not putting as much as everyone else is into theirs so we are seeing it is all right but things like joint ill has been a massive problem for us things like obviously like you know your waterborne diseases and things like that just because it's been a wet lambing uh, lambs have got up and they've got away um but yeah it's starting to bother us a little bit but we are starting to get on top of it to get the better cup better quality produce you know there'll be the farm shops down the road or buy straight off a farmer or uh, buy locally where you know that it like the food miles used to be a big thing when I used to be growing up still is now where the least travel that your food has gone like the sort of the better it is and the more like community like community support you know funding like your local farmers if we can bridge that gap between the consumer and the products and where it came from especially more locally people would probably support local like i know there's a couple of um, dairy farmers that have done their own milkshake dispensing units that are on the, actually on the farm and people tend to go to there and know that's where it comes from so if we can get a bit more locally supported things and know where it comes from and buy british and support the farmers in this country that would be a lot more awareness raised the bad weather that we got that, uh, that kind of chose our crop selection this time was the the wet back end which has made it all more or less spring barley this time for the combinable crops. The maize is going ahead as normal. The planting season is very, very late this time. We are now in the second, third week of May. And as I mentioned before, we're normally the last week in March when we start. We tend to do the field work and the lambing at the same time. This year lambing has been and gone. Yeah, it has, it has affected us. Any awareness that is brought to the notice of consumers is always good news. Maybe if we only planted half, milked half as many cows, lambed half as many sheep, 
it might just make a, a difference to make consumers aware of where stuff actually does come from. I think Shout About Farming is a great way to get out on um, farms that want to proactively share both the realistic side of farming, should we say, where you're not just brushing over the great things and everything's always great. It's very realistic, it's very um, out there and it's very shown on how farming actually is. And I think social media nowadays paints a really bad picture on farming. And I think that especially um, when people are committed to seeing the bad side of farming and they're committed to, to seeing that farming's killing the planet and we're the worst people in the world, we're actually not. And I do think that if people thought long and hard about what farming actually does, there wouldn't be a right lot for everyone if there was no farming. Unless people are going to grow their own fruit and grow their own veg and eat their own animals themselves, um, there wouldn't be a right lot for supermarkets, for anything for people to eat or for people to live. We actually are trying to help people and we are actually trying to feed the nation, we're not trying to kill the planet.